Hello there makers, it's Jo from Minerva. I'm here today to show you a short tutorial on how to make a lettuce edge hem. A lettuce edge is that sort of curly rippled edge you sometimes get on sleeves or on hem bands. You might be mistaken for thinking that you need an overlocker to do it, but you don't. You can get a, a frilly edge, but only on certain fabrics. You can use this zigzag technique on fabrics that have lots and lots of stretch. The more stretch the fabric's got, the frillier your edge will be. So the best fabrics are doing it on our jersey rib. So where you, um, and that's actually very difficult to hem. So it's a good choice if you've got a jersey rib and you're trying to hem it and as you're hemming it, it's splaying the ribs out and you're getting a sort of very uneven hem, then it might be a time to think whether you could enjoy wearing this frilly lettuce edge hem. I've got a t-shirt here in a Minerva Core Range jersey with a stripe, which I'll link below but it's got a really good element of stretch. And I'd like to um, put the lettuce hem edge along here because on a narrow striped t-shirt, sometimes it's really difficult to keep your stripe lined up along the bottom. So I think if I have a lettuce edge, I won't have to worry about that. Let's look at how to set up the machine. Although I've sewn my t-shirt together with white stitching, I've put a black thread on to make the hem because I think that will um, just finish off the edge of the t-shirt. So I'm going to put the foot onto the fabric and it, take the needle down. So now the fabric is being held in place with the needle because I'm going to do something that we actually try not to do when we're uh, working with stretch fabrics or jersey, which is we're going to really stretch the fabric. In fact, it's quite extreme. We're going to stretch the fabric to its maximum and we're also going to stretch it from behind as a maximum so we're stretching out our fabric as much as we can it does mean you've got slightly less control under the foot but um, you need to try and sort of guide your fabric by stretching it and I'll show you how to do it you'll need to be able to understand on your machine which is stitch length and which is stitch width so if you've only got a dial um, machine where you can choose one or two zigzags you might have to have a little experiment on some fabric um, I experimented on a piece before I started on my main fabric and so I made sure that I could get the right uh, stitch width and distance between the stitches. So I've got my stitch length on very, very narrow because I want my stitches to be really, really close together. I don't want an open zigzag. I want it to be um, so close that it almost looks like a black colouring in line and my stitch width is six so I've got quite a wide zigzag but very very narrow so it should just sort of colour in along the edge of the hem. There's a few things to note so you need to make sure that you're going over the edge of the fabric because you don't want to go back and have to trim it later because you're, there's a chance that you'll catch the stitching so you need to make sure that you are stretching the fabric um, but making sure that the needle zigzags over the edge and also you can't pull the fabric through too fast because then um, the advantage you get from putting it on a narrow stitch your zigzag will start to open up if you take it through faster than the feed dogs are taking the fabric through so keep it steady relax your shoulders can be a bit hard on your shoulders if you're gripping with your fingers and sort of getting tense. Make sure your fabric doesn't curl, which is hard when you're stretching it out of its brain. continue all the way around your hem. So that's how you do it. It's a technique to learn because the more you do it the better you get at it and also every fabric is different so you'll need to find out which is the best uh, stitch width and length by using your machine. 
and obviously you can get more of a ripple the stretchier your fabric is. There we are. That's the finished edge of my t-shirt. It's also a fabulous technique if you've cut a t-shirt and then when you wear it it's too long or you cut it and there isn't enough to get the hem that you want you can just finish that raw edge straight away. I hope that's given you some confidence to give a lettuce edge a try out. Try it on different fabrics, see how you get on, but do come back soon for more sewing tutorials. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.